Hawks and the Crocs, obviously, well, the Crocs are coming back up slowly. Um, no, we're aware on the Hawks yet. I know that you've been pretty vocal over the past years about possibly smaller teams moving to smaller stadiums to fit you know, their, their sort of market. Do you still think that that's the future uh, of the NFL? Absolutely. Ability? I was really disappointed to hear, and without knowing the details, that one of the main reasons that Brisbane weren't able to rejoin the league was because they didn't have a suitable stadium. Um, you know, with the games on television, I'd much rather, you know, the, the stadiums are you know, probably the club's biggest expense, or one of, if not the players. And so uh, I'd love to see 1,500, 2,000 stadiums filled. Um, that looks great on television. Uh, make it an experience for people to come in. Players want to play in a full gym. And, well, I spent three years in Europe, and some of the, the big European teams obviously play in the 15,000 seat stadiums, but there are a lot of middle-tier middle, middle -tier European teams that are playing in almost high school gyms. But to watch it on television it looks fantastic, so your sponsors sit there and you, you, know, you see a full house. And it's wonderful, so I think there's too much being made of the venue. I'd just like to see more teams and, and more jobs for players and coaches. Do you think there's many, uh, many teams, like many towns that can house, like a small so a small venue team, yeah, like, like a Geelong or something like that. Yeah, look, I, I would like to see, I'd love to see a team back in Hobart or, or Tasmania. You know, a team that maybe bounces between between cities in Tasmania. Um, yeah, you always, I'd love to see one back in Canberra. Uh, I, I think we probably, I'd like to see that before another team in Victoria or, you know, Wellington. I believe is in conversation, so that'd be great as well. But. Uh, there can't be that financial pressure placed on them to play out of a stadium that costs 40 or you know, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a night when there's something available down the road for 10. Yeah. Uh, it just doesn't seem to make sense to me over you know 14 home games over the course of the season. Do you think Do you think Melbourne needs a second team like like they did back in the 90s and early 2000s uh, the rivalries? Look, or? It, look, it doesn't need another team, but but it would be great to have one. Um, and look, very much the same way. I think one of the things. Basketball probably made a small mistake with over the years. It's, it's gone and told people what to support instead of asking them what they'd like to support. Yeah. But probably case in point was United. I mean, there's a lot of really good reasoning behind the reason we did it. But look, I'm a, I'm a Western Bulldogs fan, and uh, I'll still remember when we looked like merging or, or, or relocating. You know, the, the fans were given the opportunity to save the club, and that didn't happen. You know, the, the fans weren't given the opportunity to save it. Uh, now, maybe they wouldn't have anyway, but it would have been nice to have given them a, a chance. But uh, look, it's uh, there are people smarter than me making those decisions, so uh, I, I certainly don't profess to know the answers. But uh, no, with regard to expansion, rivalries are always great. You know, people still talk to me about the Tigers magic, yeah. uh, Giants magic days, and, and those sort of things. I'll also remind them that as great as that was, you know, we'd still turn up the next week and play against Canberra in front of 4,000 people at yeah. Labor. So.